We want to go upstream to prevent the scam from happening in the first place by strengthening deterrence and accountability in the use of local SIM cards. First, irresponsible subscribers. These are people who give away their local SIM cards or provide their particulars to others to be used to sign up for local SIM cards. Often, they do so to earn a quick buck. Based on the sampling study, close to 80% of local SIM cards misused for crime were registered with another person's particulars. In most of the cases, the police have faced difficulties in taking these irresponsible subscribers to task. Current laws put the onus on the police to prove that the subscriber knowingly gave away their local SIM cards for unlawful purposes. This is hard to prove. Irresponsible subscribers can easily claim they were unaware of the consequences of their actions. The bill will introduce new offences in sections 37B and 37C of the Miscellaneous Offences, Public Order and Nuisance Act, or abbreviated as MOA, targeting irresponsible subscribers. It will be an offence for a person to hand over local SIM cards registered with his own particulars to another person or allow his own particulars to be used to sign up for a local SIM card by another person. A person will be liable if he did so knowing or having reasonable grounds to believe that the local SIM card would be used for unlawful purposes. To address the challenge that police face today in proving knowledge or criminal intent, an irresponsible subscriber will be deemed liable in the following scenarios. 1. The irresponsible subscriber gave away the local SIM card for any gain. 2. He did not take reasonable steps to find out the identity and physical location of the recipient of the local SIM card. Or 3. He did not take reasonable steps to find out the recipient's purpose for obtaining the local SIM card. The law puts the onus on the person to prove that he was unaware. To be clear, sir, it is not our intent to criminalise people who give away their local SIM cards for legitimate purposes. For example, some people register SIM cards in their names for family members' use, including elderly parents and children. It is also not our intent to penalise people who were genuinely tricked into giving up their credentials, which were subsequently used to register for local SIM cards.